physiological effects of Theragun or percussive vibrating gun on quadriceps facilitation. We're going to measure the effects with a handheld dynamometer in foot pounds of force. So what I'm gonna have John do is we've got him on a bolster here, so we're at the same angle before and after. So I'm gonna have you push up as hard as you can till you hear the second beat. Push, 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 good. Okay, so 47 foot pounds. We're gonna go again. Push as hard as you can, go. Go, 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 go. Good, okay. So 46.6. All right, so there's our pre-Theragun measurement. So now we're just gonna use this guy. There's only one setting and I'm not gonna give him a bunch of pressure. I'm just kind of letting it float, do its job. We're gonna go about 30 seconds. So think about this. If you're somebody who does Theragun, why do you do Theragun? What's the effect you're looking for when you do it? And what do you think the physiological effects are or has that even crossed your mind? So a lot of athletes you'll see using these before competition, during competition. And the funny thing is, if you watch the ones that use it before competition, they're also the ones that use it during competition. You're going to find out here in a second why they do that. So now, same thing, you're going to push as hard as you can until you hear the second beep. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Good. Okay, 35 foot pounds. So we've just lost strength. Push, 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 push. Okay, does that feel a lot weaker? Yeah, I was really trying on that second one, trying to match the first number. Down to 32.9 foot pounds. So if you notice, his he was at 34, I think, on the second one here, on the first one, he actually went down. My bet is if we do this again, he's even gonna go down more. So kick, push. Push, 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 push. And you can tell he's straining and, and pushing as hard as he can. He's down to 28.1. So the more we do it after the Theragun, the weaker he gets. And he's a strongman competitor. How tall are you? 6'3". Yeah. 6'3". Uh, six, three. Six, three, yeah, 290. 290. And he's only got 28 foot pounds of pressure after 30 seconds of a Theragun. So what this is doing is causing neuromuscular inhibition. So if you ask people why they do Theragun, they'll say because it feels good, it makes my muscles relax. Remember, muscle is a contractile tissue. It contracts to either stabilize a joint or move a joint. If it can't contract, it gets dysfunctional like this, it relaxes, which is what you're trying to do with the Theragun, but that also decreases performance level and increases the risk of injury. So if you are recovering from an injury or if you don't want an injury, do not use one of these things.